Hello friends, welcome to our channel. So, in the earlier sessions, we have seen the difference between a block cipher and a stream cipher. So, in the stream cipher, we are just converting the plain text to the cipher text bit by bit. And in the block cipher, we are just considering a group of characters and we are considering a block. And at a time, each block will be processed so that the plain text of each block will be converted into the cipher text. So that means the stream cipher is a bit by bit and the block cipher is a block by block. The conversion of plain text to cipher text is performed in a block by block. So let us have a look on a block cipher design principles. So what are the design principles of a block cipher? So before going to this block cipher design principles, so most of the block cipher techniques will follow a common structure that is a fizzle structure. So most of the block cipher techniques will follow this fistal structure. We can call it as a fizzle or a fistal, right? So fizzle structure. So what is a fizzle structure? So before going to the algorithms of a block cipher, we have to know this fizzle structure. So here in this fizzle structure, the first step is the plain text blocks is processed in two equal halves. So that means the first step is we have to divide the plain text in two halves, two equal halves. So, so plain text and we have to divide it as two equal halves. This is the left half and this is the right half. And on the right half, we have to apply in a function. We have to apply the function. So a function may be anything, any logical function it may be, right? So it depends upon the algorithm, the function will be varying. But the right half will be applied in the function. So, so this is the function. That function, what, what is the function? Means that depends upon the algorithm. So it may be a log logical function. So, and in function, we will use a separate key. So, key one. And this output from this function will be XORed with the left half. And the output from this left half and this right half will be swapped. So that means the left half will be stored in rightmost bits and similarly the right half will be saved in leftmost bits. So here again left and R. So the same process we call it as a round, a single round. And the process of converting this plain text to the cipher text will be done in number of rounds. So the count, that means that the num how many rounds we have to apply, that depends upon the algorithm we are using. So each algorithm will be having a different number of rounds. So, but if any plain text follows this structure, we call it as a phasal structure. That means that particular algorithm follows the phasal structure, fistal structure. That means any plain text, in any algorithm, if the plain text is divided into two halves, and all the functions are applied on the right half and the result of this function is exalted with the left half and next the swapping is there and this process is continuously repeating in number of rounds then we call that algorithm as a phasal structure that algorithm is having this phasal structure so here the security mainly depends on the functions the number of rounds and the number of keys so here the key also, we will have a master key and in each and every round, we will use a separate sub key. That means from the master key, we have to generate different sub keys. So depends upon the number of rounds, we have to then create a number of sub keys. So for example, if, if our algorithm is having a 10 rounds, that means a processing is done in 10 rounds. 
So we need to generate 10 subkeys from the master key. So this is again the left half, right half. Again the right half is applied to the function where the subkey 2 is used and the result is exalted with right half. Again this will be saved in right half and this will be saved in left half. So this we call it as a see. This we call it as a round function. Round. Round function. So likewise it will be keep on going. So this is called a phase of structure. That means the first the plain text in two equal halves. In two equal halves, next number of rounds. So the plain text is processed in number of rounds to get the cipher text. And number of subkeys and swapping. So swapping of two halves, right to left and left to right. So if any algorithm follows these concepts, we simply say that that particular block cipher algorithm follows the phasal structure. So this is very important. And now let us, if we look at the block cipher design principles, all these are the block cipher design principles. So first one, two halves. Next one, the number of rounds, number of subkeys, swapping, and the subkey size and the block size. All these are the block cipher design principles. Now let us see that. Okay. So this is all about the phasal structure. So in the next classes, we are, we, are, uh, we are going to see the block cipher algorithm that is called a DES algorithm, data encryption standard algorithm, which follows the phasal structure. So that means in that algorithm also, the plain text is processed in two equal halves and the right half is applied to the function in which, around, uh, in which the subkey is used and the result will be absorbed with the left half and finally the swapping is done. And this process will be repeated in number of rounds and this number of rounds will be dependent on the algorithm. Now, so hope you understood this a phasal structure. So if you uh, see the example for this phasal structure so that you can clearly understand. So in the next session I will say the example for this phasal structure that is a DES algorithm, data encryption standard algorithm. So now let us have a look on block cipher design principles. block cipher design principles a block cipher design principles so first one is block size so this is a silly one that is as we are seeing this a block cipher design principles the plain text is processed in terms of blocks so compulsory there must be a block size so here the block size is the size of the plain text so whatever the plain text size is there, automatically we will get the same size of ciphertext. So if you process 10 bits of plain text, we will get the 10 bits of ciphertext. That means the length of the plain text and ciphertext are same. So the first one is block size, key size. So we have to use a key from which we have to generate the self keys. So key size, next, number of rounds, so the plain text is processed to the cipher text in number of rounds. So in each round the same process will be going on and sub keys, sub keys count or number of sub keys. So in each round we have to use a separate sub key. That means from this key, master key, we have to generate the sub keys. That depends upon the algorithm. Next round function. So in each and every round we will use the function. 
one function that's it it may be a logical function right so that depends upon the algorithm so for every round we have to use the same function and last but not the least the plain text in two equal halves the plain text is processed in two equal halves so this these are the design principles of any block cipher algorithm so hope you understood these design principles and the here the security depends on the number of rounds sub keys and this round function so if number of rounds increased the complexity will be increased and also the security will be increased the data will be more secure and if the sub key count i mean if number of rounds are increased the automatically the number of sub keys will also increased so automatically the security will also increased round function so if the round function is more complex the analysis of that algorithm will be very strong so it is very difficult to the crypt analyst to attack the data or to break the algorithm so the the security related issues are number of rounds number of sub keys count and the round function in the block cipher algorithm so this is all about the phasal structure and the block cipher design principles hope you understood this uh, simple concept so let us stop here in the next session we will go with the algorithm very important algorithm that is a des algorithm data encryption standard so which is a block cipher symmetric algorithm if you like my videos share my videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel and if you are having any doubts regarding uh, network security feel free to post your sessions in the Uh, i mean you post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much